Welcome to the Humane Society of Western Montana. A truly wonderful place filled with adorable kittens and lovely dogs, all waiting patiently for their perfect home. But adoption isn't the only thing this busy shelter here does. Everything from spay and neuter, free vaccine clinics, community care, behavior service, humane education, foster programs, the list goes on. All made possible by this exceptional team of passionate veterinarians, technicians, administrators, and behavior specialists. Today, the team is preparing for one of their community outreach trips. Packing medical supplies, testing equipment, and loading it all in their two trusty vans. Come join us as we embark on this journey towards pet health, owner well-being, and community building together. Hi friends, I know, happy to see me, yes. I don't want, yes, okay. Hi, my name is Marta Pierpoint, and I am the executive director of the Humane Society of Western Montana. And we left Missoula down south, and we traveled up here for five hours, and now we have arrived at the Rocky Boy Volunteer Fire Station. We're working with the tribe, and together we're going to start vaccinating and spaying and neutering and assisting people with pets in this area. And inside, my team is getting ready to go. I can't wait for you to meet them. So some final checks on anesthesia machines. I think our prep table is ready to go. You see in an exam that you feel like we can address, let's address it. So the first set of animals is gonna show up any minute now and that should be around seven to 10, mostly dogs. Um, we'll have another round come at about noon and another round come, I think about around three. And that gives the owner's time where they can go and go to work, but then come and pick up their animals and we don't have to house 22 animals for the entire day in our tiny little space. Animals wait throughout wherever it's comfortable so that they aren't in too much line of sight with each other and they can sit comfortably with their owners. Uh, once they're pre-medded, they move through into the surgery area. Our potions master, we call him, um, handles all of our drug logs and our drug box, pulls up all the medications for the animals. Our surgical team is the ones that actually do surgery. It usually consists of a couple doctors and one or two technicians who monitor anesthesia. Our prep team is the first line before surgery, so they prep the animal for surgery, uh, they give the vaccines, and they identify any last minute concerns before the animal moves over to the veterinarians for surgery. The first patient of the day. Hi, my name is Donna, and I'm here with my dog, Baby Girl. Actually, she found me. She walked up to my house, and her and her brother were strays. They were, couldn't have been more than four, six weeks old. And it was winter time, so she made herself comfortable. She never left after that. And she's just become part of the family, so. You know, being that <clears throat> there's so many stray dogs in, in our neighborhood there, I thought I'd bring her because I didn't want to contribute to that. So make sure she didn't have no litters and she's here to get taken care of. While Meredith and the team prepare for baby girl spay surgery, let's go outside and meet with Kim and Chris to learn a little bit more about how the Humane Society got connected with this region and why the spay and neuter procedure is so important. I'm Kim Fetterspiel and I am president of Friends That Haver Animal Shelter. Um, we're a nonprofit that supports the animal shelter in Haver. We offer community resources um, and we view Rocky Boy as very much a part of our community, so we have extended our resources to them as well. When the Humane Society bought the vaccinator, they asked if we would want to pair with them and use our outreach to bring the vaccinator to Rocky Boy. And it's just been a really great experience bringing resources to this community and their pets. Hey, I'm Chris Wolfchief with the Chipwalker Fishing Game. They've been a big help out here on the reservation with our 
dog population, you know, with the uh, spay and neuter clinics they put on. It um, actually helps knock the population of stray dogs down. Like you'd look through these villages, you'd see all kinds of stray dogs everywhere. And it was, it was getting to be a big problem. And most of those dogs were just being euthanized and put down. It's actually a better living environment for the reservation out here with their help. Let's take a moment to give a special shout out to Dr. Sam and his spay and neuter contributions. Surgery, everything went great. It was just a routine neuter. Prep him for his neuter surgery just like we would normally. Recovering nicely from his surgery, he was neutered in for a spay procedure, just a routine um, surgery that we do. Just fantastic. Well, it looks like the day is moving along swimmingly. Inside, surgeries are going well as the team works on spay and neuter, as well as flea and tick removal, porcupine quill extraction, and trauma treatment. And outside, plenty more dogs are getting vaccinated to protect from distemper, parvo, and rabies. Now you might be wondering, what about the cats? Well, I'll have you know a bunch just got dropped off and are currently getting weighed and checked on. All is well, except for a poor kitten named Lily, that was the unfortunate victim of a dog attack. Let's check in and see how she's doing. That was the quietest she's been. <laughs> yes, that's the quietest she's been all day. Good? Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm Cade Wooten, I'm an associate vet at the Humane Society of West Montana, uh, and today we're going to be Spaying Lily, who's this little kitten that we got in um, yesterday, who had a little, um, she's got a pretty good laceration on her neck to get it all sterile. And Allie, our technician, is just out getting her uh, drugs ready to go. So she's um, going to be put under anesthesia. And hopefully that'll be done pretty quickly and she'll be waking up um, soon after that. She'll also get her um, annual first vaccinations. So. We'll be doing that shortly. All right, we finished up with Lily's surgery about 30 minutes ago. She's already up and awake, uh, moving around and meowing. Um, all we really had to do for her wound was uh, shave it up a little bit and clean it. Uh, nothing else was really warranted and she will be going back to the Haver Animal Shelter to hopefully be adopted sooner rather than later. Ah, I love it when you plan your work and work your plan. Nothing better than a crisis averted. Let's check back in with Kim and Marta about the work they do and what makes it all possible. Okay. Working in Rocky Boy is, a lot of it is building up trust and a lot of it the trust is spread word of mouth um, we can offer services you can post on Facebook things like that and that's where we found success in just getting to know people and showing that we're not here to take their dog from them we just want to fix the dog we want it to get its vaccinations we want to help whenever we can and so building that trust has been very very crucial in what we're doing okay bye Marcy see you in a little bit okay So we wouldn't be able to do what we do if we weren't invited to be here by the tribe, um, if they didn't open this incredible space for us to be, um, we wouldn't be able to do this work. And then we also wouldn't be able to do this work without our partners at Haver Animal Services. They're pretty amazing and we're so grateful for people speaking about us positively, sharing with their friends and neighbors and family that we're here um, and that they can come and we will help with whatever clients need so and that's kind of going on right here with the seven puppies that we just took in um, that was word of mouth they found out we were coming and they came to bring their puppies to all be spayed and neutered and that's just kind of how it works hello i'm jr rosette I'm with the Rocky Boy Health Center. This was all brought together by a big group effort with the volunteer fire department here in Rocky Boy, Rocky Boy Tribal Council, the Humane Society of Western Montana. Come together as a community and as, as a state really, you know, to get this done and it's having positive 
impact here on the Rocky Boy Indian Reservation.